some people are revealed optimists about their countries and other people are revealed pessimists. So you're gonna invest it offshore, maybe in Bitcoin. You have now also created an incentive to ensure that your society does not succeed. You seem very optimistic and you have a really interesting take in terms of optimists change the world. I mean, I wouldn't have described myself as an optimist, but then again, I look at my sort of revealed behavior and the sort of random risks I've taken in my past. And I'm like, you're totally an optimist because no pessimist would have tried to do that. That's insane, right? I really, really break it down. A real pessimist would never get out of bed, right? At all, because what possibly good could happen? Only optimists win at anything. And not optimists in terms of, I think I'm happy. I think everything will turn out right. It's talking about a revealed preference optimism, which is the people that invest in anything, that start any business, that apply for any job. These are all acts, very definitive acts of optimism. If you didn't believe it was any going to be any good, you wouldn't go out and do it. Only optimists would ever start a business. No pessimist will start a business ever, which means that all the winners in the world are optimists. Of course, many of the losers are optimists too, but that's the whole sort of risk reward equation. Some people are revealed optimists about their countries and other people are revealed pessimists. You're a revealed optimist if you are purchasing a property in the country that you live in, if you are starting a business, if you are investing in a local business, you are a revealed optimist then. But it has a compounding effect too, because revealed pessimists would be people who don't purchase property, don't start a business, and instead hedge their bets by taking their money out of the country, right? So you're going to invest it offshore, maybe in Bitcoin, you know, like going to bet against this here because I don't believe in this here. That's a revealed pessimism against the place that you're in. You have now also created an incentive to ensure that your society does not succeed because the arbitrage condition is if your local country your local economy declines you get richer bitcoin, my favorite one there as soon as you purchase bitcoin you're betting against your domestic currency as soon as you purchase bitcoin you're happy every time your domestic currency declines in value right so suddenly you have this perverse incentive to become an accelerationist, to tear things down around you. And the opposite is, of course, if you're a revealed optimist and you've invested in property, as simple as that, sending your kids to a local school, hiring someone, starting a business, not only are you invested in trying to make your business grow or to make sure your property looks good and your verge is taken care of, you're also incentivized to make sure the community around your property or your business is also thriving. Because if you have a business and, you, and your customers are poor, you don't have customers, right? So you kind of invested in making your society better. Likewise, you purchased a house, you're incentivized in making sure your neighbors clean up their dog poop from down the road too, because that reflects on your property value. Of course, that's a very local example, but it rolls out to the whole national scheme. And in fact, it rolls out to the whole human project at a much grander level. If you're a revealed pessimist, like some of the people I've interviewed in terms of antenatal, you're certainly not going to engage in the act of dramatic optimism of having children, right? So by simply not having children, you are increasing the odds that the human project dies out one day. You have not cast your vote, your genetic votes into the future of our species. It's the choice you've made. Whereas if you have decided to have a child and to carry it to term, you have cast a vote, a very tangible vote in terms of the future of the species. People get angry about optimism because the way I've articulated it sort of strips that revealed preference versus your stated preference veil away. And you're forced to look at your own actions to determine whether you are an optimist. It's about, are you invested? in tomorrow in this place in this time or not and that makes you look at yourself it's a mirror that puts the magnifying glass onto yourself and makes you part of the problem or part of the solution which all of us are right because we're all deciding whether to act in acts of optimism or pessimism all the time and when you articulate it like this you see that those acts of pessimism have a cost not just to yourself but to your greater community which is very uncomfortable nobody likes that